Hey, thanks for tuning in again. Tonight we are back with Word Power. I'm sorry, Touch Joshua with Word Power. And I would like to show you how to add a page. So we're going to go to place. We're on the home page right now. We're going to go to places. And to do that, um, we are going to, I want to edit the therapy button. Right now, if we hit therapy, uh, watch what it does. Therapy. It kicks us back to home. So in a previous video that I did, I showed, um, I explained how to stop that process. So if you don't want a button to go back to home automatically and it, it's programmed that way, there's a way to stop that. So I'm going to show you again, just in case you didn't see the other videos. So I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to edit the page and then I'm going to tap therapy and hit edit this button. I'm going to go all the way down to the button actions and I'm going to add visit exception. And that is right there at the bottom. That is going to take that is going to stop it from going back to the home page. Uh, let me just show you real quick. Therapy. So see, it's just a therapy and it stayed there. So we're going to hit menu again because I want to do some more editing. I'm going to tap therapy and then I'm going to edit the button and you can change the page. I mean, the picture if you want, that's kind of a nice therapy, right? <laughs> um, that's another thing you can do to change if uh, the, this, the pictures or the images instead of select image. If you just want to check a few on the right and a few on the left, you can do the arrows. Otherwise, you can select image, go up, and then change the picture if you want to this way. Um, and select, we'll just do that one. <clears throat> so we're changing the picture, why not? Okay, and then we want to come back down to action. So we have speak message only. I don't want it to speak because I'm going to, when we make the new page, I don't want it to say, therapy and then go to the page. I want nothing. I don't want it to say anything. So I'm going to edit and take that away. So I clicked edit and then I hit the red circle on the left and I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm going to add an action. I want to make a new page, like I said before. So we're going to come back. We're going to scroll down until we see the navigate button. So we're going to hit navigate. Then this up at the top, it says select existing page, but we don't want to do that because we want to make a new page that doesn't exist yet. So we're going to go up to the top in the white there, go to the right to the plus sign and then click that. And then we're going to hit a new blank page. We're going to name the page. We're going to put therapists. Um, actually, we can put my therapist. That's fine. My therapists. And then I don't want all these rows here. Let's just say my kiddo has only two therapists right now, but they, they are going to eventually have four therapists. So I just want four squares on the page. So I'm going to hit two rows. And then for columns, I'm going to do two columns. Um, and let's just have fun and do a background image so that, uh, and I only have the two therapists, there's going to be two blank, uh, squares, but let's just make them fun and have a, 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 an image there. So I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to put therapists and I hit search and we're going to come down here. I'm going to choose, let's just do this picture. It's different than the, the button. Uh, so that should be good. And we're going to go back up to the save on the right. And we're going to hit no animation because when we select, we don't want things to go up and down and all around. Um, I think this is, should be it. So I'm going to go up and save. Excellent. So now um, we're going to take it out of edit mode, hit done. If you can see the icon now where it says therapy in the top right of the square, there's an arrow that points to the right. And um, in previous videos, I just discussed how if you see a, an arrow on a button like that, it's going to take you to another page. So I'm going to click it and there's our new page. Woohoo! All right. So we're going to put 
just one therapist in for tonight just to show you how to do it. So you're going to hit menu and go to edit mode. Then I'm going to click a blank square and then I'm going to hit create a new button. We don't want an existing button because we want to, we don't want, you know, an, an one that already exists somewhere else. We want a new one. All right, we're going to do the button label, my speech oops, therapist. And then we don't want it to say, when we click the button, we don't want it to say my speech therapist. I want it to say my speech, and you can do speech therapist, speech pathologist, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever the kids call you. My speech therapist is Mrs. A. Okay, so now I'm going to come down. It's a specific therapist. Let's do be me for today. We're going to import a photo of Mrs. A. There she is. Okay. We're going to hit use. Okay, the photo is there of me. So we're going to hit done up on the right. And then my new speech therapist is Mrs. A. There's the photo. Do we want to do anything else? I don't think so. It's already going to speak the message. So we're going to save. There's Mrs. A. Um, so now we're going to hit done. <coughs> and I'm going to hit back and then just show you. Whoops, I do not want to choose. I forgot. All right, so now everything's programmed, at least for Mrs. A. So we're going to, the child will just have to go to places. Then he's going to, he or she's going to go to therapy. And then he's going to, he or she's going to select this. My speech therapist is Mrs. A. Uh, but you know what? I don't like that voice for a kiddo. I know we've done other videos where it changes the voice, but let's just, let's just do that again. Um, we are going to go to settings. And we're going to scroll down and let's pick a kiddo's voice. Scroll all. No, sorry. I went too far. We're going to go to. Oh, no, I'm back. Okay. Voice. It says Kenny child. Sorry, Kenny. I just want to choose a different um, child's voice. Let's see what Alex sounds like. This is a test of the current oh, no. speech settings. What? Hold on. This is a test of the current speech settings. Hmm, this is like a test of the kid. current speech settings. Whoops, Emilio. Um, let's see what Isaac sounds like. Hello, oh, no, that's I'm Isaac. <laughs> Josh Child. Hi, I'm Josh. One of the high quality text to speech right, voices. Please so. go to the upgrade store now to purchase and download my voice. All right. I don't know why he said we were going to purchase it, but. Okay, so Josh is on now. We're going to hit done. You can also change the rate, the pitch, all of that, but we'll cover that in another video. We're going to hit done. And so now let me try again. So we're going to go to places, therapy, and we're going to select Mrs. A. My speech therapist is Mrs. A. Oh, that's kind of fast. So you can slow it down or speed it up. Like, uh, let me just do that. Go to settings, go down. Let's see if I change the rate a little bit to a little bit slower. See what happens. Okay. My speech therapist is Mrs. A. Sounds kind of like a question. But anyway, you get the gist. You can play around with it. Okay, so that is how you add a button, add a page. Um, and that's, I guess that's it for now. So if you have any questions, just let me know, uh, comments, uh, subscribe, like the page if you like it, uh, like the page, <laughs> like the video if you like it, and let me know if there are any other videos that I can help you with.